everybody and welcome back to Dilly Dally Budgets. I'm Sarah and thank you if you are a returning subscriber and thank you if you're a new subscriber. I really, really appreciate it. So today I am cash stuffing for May week four in my budget. May is a five week month for me. So this is my first ever five week month. So let's see how we go. And today we are stuffing the money here. Let's get that out and pop that to one side. I am stuffing 20, 30, 40 pounds. So not a lot this week. So shall we just crack straight into the stuffing? So we'll bring in my purse. And as you normally know, I don't carry any coins over. However, I didn't have any spare money last week to do my YouTube channel. So I had to take it out of my miscellaneous money. Um, and I'm just decide I decided that I would roll over that miscellaneous into this week just to be on the safe side. So I have four pounds, but this is miscellaneous. On to spending. Now I am going to be doing my usual spending money of Oh, £20 in cash and then later I will transfer the £20 in digital because I do have a bit of both so I have the option to do some online shopping as well or in the shop play with my card instead so but first as always we are going to bring in the savings binder and see how much I am going to be saving out of the move the toast rack out of um, the dice challenge which is from budget with ira this will save i think it's a total of 330 pounds um, and i will just see how much i will save out of my spending money this week so let's give it a, a raw and a lucky blow so that is a one which okay now I am going to roll again because I don't have much on this week at all. So I'm going to roll again. And that is a number seven. So that makes eight pounds. Now, last week, if some of you have seen my video, you will see I had an unbudgeted spend. Um, and this was the second unbudgeted spend I had um, this month. Um, because I had to renew my driving license and yada, 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 yada. And Lucy Luxor said I had to atone for my sin as such. And I said, oh, what will my punishment be? She said I had to do the knockout nine. Now, I am scared of the knockout nine challenge. So I'm, I love watching you all do it, but I am petrified of it. I, I just, I will get too obsessed with it. And yeah, I'd have no money. So what she said was I had to roll an extra time on my dice challenge. So I am actually going to do that today. But I would like to say this is just a laugh and a joke between me and Lucy. I don't have to do this extra roll just to atone myself as such. It is just a laugh and a joke. And as I haven't really got much on this week, um, because obviously I can't leave the house, I'm not being taken anywhere. It's not my turn for groceries this week. I'm going to just do an extra roll. So this one's for you, Lucy. <laughs> ah, you're not a bad roll. So we have got a five as well. So let's just put a little mark there. So I'm going to leave it there for the dice challenge. And I need to save seven plus five is 12 plus one is 13 pounds. So I have the 20 pounds. 20 minus 13 is 7. Luckily, I have that in the folder. So £7 out. £20 going in. And that one is done for another week. And let's just pop that to one side to remind me to colour it in later. So we've got the £7. I'm going to pop the £2 in my coin wallet finally got this named i finally labeled it and the five pound is going into spending so seven pounds this week not bad 
like I said just a minute ago, I, it's not my turn for groceries this week, so that is getting nothing. Fuel still has its £30 in, which has been carried over for the month. And miscellaneous, as explained, it has its £4 in the coin section on my purse at the moment. So, that is that this week. Pop the dice back in the dip bowl and get rid of that. Next, I am going to stuff the big one. So this has its own folder. It is a mix of lots of different challenges. And this is to save for something. I can't say it because I don't want the person to know in case they are watching the video. But basically, um, this isn't going to be touched until 2032. Um, and it's just trying to save a good amount of money um, towards something in 2032. And I try and save at least £20 a month into this. And to keep me entertained, because this is such a slow burner, let's get the £20 and get rid of the toast rack this week. I've devised six different challenges. Some of them are freebies from sellers that I got from um, placing an order. Some I have bought myself. So this one, for example, is from Mrs. B Organised, as is this one. And this one is from Rainbow Budgets. And what I do is for the first lot of, first go, sorry, I will do the spin and roll from, from Rainbow Budgets. However, I just do the spin to start with um, to see how much I am saving. So if it landed on the 20, obviously I would only stuff one challenge this in this this month. However, if it say landed on anything else, so a five, 10 or 15, I will save that amount and then I will just put the other one in um, another challenge that I would roll. So I need my colored dice as well. So let's see how much I am saving. This isn't flex, I've put that for the first round. Oh, I'm gonna do that again because it wasn't a very good spin. I can never get this to spin very well. I think it's because I'm so candid as well. So one, two, three, there we go. That's a better spin. And I am saving 10 pounds. Don't cover the number up. People can't see it, you donut. And then I'll flip over and as you can see, each color of this dies relates to a different one of the challenges. So let's roll to find out which challenge I am saving the 10 pounds to. Green. So this is going to the puzzle piece challenge, which is here. So each puzzle piece is worth five pounds. So I get to color in two puzzle pieces this week. And I am going to just color these in quickly um, on camera for you guys. So I hope you all are well and you are all having a lovely week. Isn't it so nice that the weather a typical British, let's talk about the weather, but it's so nice to see that the sun is coming out now. We're not having as much rain and it is warming up and it just feels like summer is, summer is on its way now, which I love. I love the heat. It's, I don't like it too hot, but I prefer it to be warm because also then my arthritis doesn't hurt so much either. Um, I've watched quite a lot of your videos in the last week. I'm always behind with your YouTube videos and I do, I always like your videos. I do try and comment on every single one of them, but sometimes if I'm busy, I'll have them on in the background and I will like all the ones, but I set it up on a playlist. I like all the videos and I don't always, um, what was I saying? I don't always pop a comment, but I do and I am there supporting you all. So let's just give that a little waft. That will do. Esther will be proud now. And let's just pop the £10 in its envelope. Which leaves me with £10 to go into another challenge. So let's see what we are saving into. Pink, which is Grow Your Own Money Tree. Now this was a free challenge from Rainbow Budgets from an order I placed. And each... So my goal is on this is 150 and each leaf segment is going to be five pounds. So I need to color in two leaf bits. So let's color in this one here. I must say, has anybody watched the Bespoke Budgeter 
Um, she's quite a new channel. She's been around quite a long time, but she's doing this challenge called Go Big or Go Home or The Big Boy. Can't remember which one it is, but she is doing amazing. Um, she's had some really good news, so you should check that out. But she is smashing her budget and is hitting her goals so well. So let's just give that a waft for Esther. Don't want to get told off by her. And we'll pop that into back into its envelopes and i'd like to say once i complete one of these challenges i will then either rub it out and do it again obviously not the ones that i haven't um laminated or i will bring in different challenges so there we go dice can go back away and that is it for this week so 40 pounds spent well spent stuffed I will transfer the £20 into my digital spending off, 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 off. What, is the, what am I trying to say? Off the camera. Yep. And all it leaves me to say is thank you very much to every single one of you for taking the time to watch my videos and supporting me. It really means, it really does mean a lot to me. Um, and it's also nice where I'm having a few crisis moments at the moment. It's nice having people um, to talk to um, and offering their ears, even if I'm not ready to talk or anything. It is very, very nice that people are there for each other and this community is a lovely place to be and to be part of. So thank you, everybody. And that all only leaves me to say, 